Assalamu alaikum YouTube viewers. The topic of today's video is selective versus specific reactions. So in this video we are going to explain what are the selective reactions and what are the specific reactions and what is the basic difference between them. So selective reactions. Selective reactions are those reactions in which we have the reactant giving more than one product. Okay. We will have more than one product but the formation of one product will be favored over the other. Let's just say that I have this reactant, okay, and its epoxidation will give me two different products, okay. The epoxidation of this compound will give me two different products, okay. The addition of oxygen from the above is favored as compared to the addition of oxygen from the below, okay. So that's why the major product will be this and the minor product will be this, okay. If we have, if we take, if we perform this reaction in a beaker, then both of these products will be present. Major stereo isomer will be present. Minor stereo isomer will also be present. But the percentage of major stereo isomer will be more as compared to the minor stereo isomer. Means we do have both of the product present in the beaker. But the formation of one product is being favored over the other. For example, let's just say that we have 95% of the major stereo isomer and 5% will be only the minor stereo isomer. Okay. So that was selective and now we have specific reactions. Specific is usually a sign that there is something inherent to the mechanism. In specific reactions, we have only one product that is being formed from the reactant. Okay, so let's just say that epoxidation to the alkenes, the epoxidation to alkene, when I add oxygen from above, okay, then it is easy to add the oxygen. Whereas when I add oxygen from the below, then it is become very hard to add the oxygen. So that's why what do we have here? We have only product that is the cis product. Means that if I have a cis molecule in the reactant, then I will have the cis product. And if I have trans molecule in the beginning, then I will have a trans product. Okay. So these are the specific reaction which gives only one type of product. So this is the basic difference between the selective and the specific reactions.